One cut through the zipper. My strength happens to be strength versus speed, whereas you get a lot of smaller competitors where their strength is speed, uh, where they may not be as strong to you know, throw a heavy axe or throw it into the block as far. And that's absolutely fine. It, it works out for all of us. It's been an interesting last 20 years that I've done this, and I'm one of the later people to start, I would guess, from the people that I've talked to. I mean, my sewing partner, Lindsay, started when she was 15, 16 years old. A lot of kids start in college. I started when I was 30. I started and I talked to the best and had the best teach me, and that ended up proving very beneficial to me. All my vacation time nearly every year is spent going to a wood shop, either going overseas to Australia or New Zealand to cut or taking trips up to Canada or again, flying to the east or west coast to experience other shows. I am 50. It was actually pretty fun. So I turned 50 last year in 19, 2019, okay. uh, along with probably three or four other people Dave Jewett being one of them. And because we turned, we both turned 50 in May, we qualified to cut in the senior division at the Lumberjack World Championships last year. So we did. So we oh. said, hey, let's just team up. This would be fun. We haven't cut together for 12 years. Let's team up and cut the Masters double. And we did, we took second. We were, we were very happy with it. You're a competitive person. Very. <laughs> <laughs> It's great exercise during the summer. Um, you go outside and you cut a couple blocks and I'm just as sweaty and just as exhausted doing that as going to the gym and it's in my backyard all by myself, so. All of us wear leg guards from your knees on down. So if you do come down and that axe comes into contact with your shin, you've got some of what you would see like on the front of a fireplace, that fireplace mesh. That's what's on my legs. It comes into contact with that. It's going to ruin the axe, um, but it's not going to ruin my leg. My favorite event was, is always going to be single buck. I mean, it's it's one that I've excelled at for years. I love it. I hold enough records in it. And I just, that is one that I love to be very technical about. And there are people that push me in it, and that's great. It's time to figure out, you know, how the, the pull the saw. It's not quite right on this stroke. I have to fix this stroke. So. I really will enjoy single buck probably to the end of my day. But then went to the world championships and set a new single buck record. So that to me was like, yep, I'm back. There are some obviously that stick out in your head more than others. Um, my first single buck world record in 2002, you know, the very first world record that you ever set. Um, and I set it at the Lumberjack World Championships. So very cool. Um, I've broken it three times since then over the years. Um, my Jack and Jill win with Mike Sullivan in 2008. Again, at the World Championships against Dave Jewett and Lindsey Down um, because we cut the finals to a dead heat on video and we had cut a second time to win. So, you know, the youngster that Lindsey was said, it wouldn't be cool if we had to. And those of us veterans said, no, we want to have to do this again. <laughs> uh, but that kind of thing. Um, going to the Great Outdoor Games uh, back in 2004, 2005, and coming out with a second place finish in the women's endurance. So very happy with still being in the top ranks among girls that could be my daughter. Uh, but a lot of fun to compete against and compete with. You know, we're all pretty cutthroat when we get on stage, but when you get off stage, everybody's friends again. It's afforded me chances to go to Australia every year since 2003. Wow. Um, competed down in New Zealand in 2003 as the very first international U.S. women's team that traveled anywhere. So there are people that would show up at Boonville that said, oh, we drove in from such and such, wherever it was, just to watch you today. You think, oh, no pressure there. You know, right. Are you still today? Oh, I'm going to give it my best. Well, that was great when I was in my early 40s, you know, 
10, 15 years ago when you could pull this off in the late 30s, early 40s and you knew where you stood against each other. Well, as they get better and you stagnate or, you know, some of the skill sets go down in speed, well, we've got to find a way to make it up if you want to be competitive, which that's fine. It, that's where the drive comes from.